massive sand desert, rainbow road, and a sideways version of Gorilla Tag are just some of the few of the illegal Gorilla Tag maps that I downloaded. And today, I'm gonna be ranking these maps on a scale of one to five stars. With five stars being peak, cinema, pinnacle to medium, and one star being absolute dookie. Starting with the Roblox map of some sort. I just want to see my dog in person to scale. What's up, brother? Me and you go way back. Say something to the camera. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. I don't even know what this is from. So you guys in the comments have to definitely tell me where this is from because my Robloxpedia is very tiny. Upon exploring the map, I discovered something. Hey, I don't mess with your blue kind here. Oh, I just knocked him over. <laughs> what? Oh, <laughs> Yeah, and I couldn't help myself but have a bit of fun. All right, you're a strong combatant, but you have not had the deal with my Gatling gun. Formidable foe here. He bested me. Off the top rope. Off the top rope. Close line. Close line. Oh, one, two, three. The Roblox map starts off hot with four out of five stars. And next is Sideways Gorilla Tag. What the? This is trippy. Oh, what the? Whoa, jeez. <laughs> I'm getting kind of nauseous doing this. I'm not going to lie. My brain code is being rewired right now. Okay, what's down? Let's go over here. Oh my God, I'm literally going to throw up. But I physically couldn't finish the level because of how sick it made me. Two out of five stars. This next map is super nostalgic for me. Oh, dude, beginner block is one of the OG maps. I'm pretty sure originally this was one of the maps that came like with monkey map loader. So it's crazy to see it working again. Okay, let's see if I can beat this. Oh man, this is so easy now. I remember struggling so hard when this first came out. Goes to show like how much I've gotten better at this game over the years. You know, I just had the realization that Gorilla Tag is like almost three years old. And <laughs> that's scary. <laughs> yes! Yes! And the prize is the next level. I guess we should go. All right, so this is better swamp. And let's see, how much did they improve it? Whoa, it's the old map for sure. It's a lot brighter. Is a toilet here? No, no toilet. As I was moving around the renovated swamp, I felt like it was missing the flow of movement that the original map had. I think I can confidently say the old map is actually better. So I'm gonna give this one a two out of five. All right, so this one is kind of weird because there's a prize at the very end. So I'm gonna get over there. All right, so there's a little big jump. I think I'm just gonna gap it and just YOLO it. YOLO. I cannot reach there. But I see him. I see him calling my name. SpongeBob. SpongeBob. I'm not giving up for the sponge. I ain't letting that brother down. I'm gonna have to give this one a zero out of five. Unbeatable. And I just wanted to see SpongeBob. Now this map had a slushy machine. Oh, it's a little convenience store. Dang, the deal's here three for seven monsters. That's pretty good. Let's see, what type of drink do I want here? See, what's funny about this map is that everything is appearing through one eye. So it looks like this. That's really fun. Oh, there's a slushy machine. That's goaded. Let's grab one of these bad boys. I'll give this map two stars, but only because of the slushies. Now, I was looking through my maps and noticed this. J-Man Curly Land. Oh, what did I stumble into? This is this is something out of my nightmare. I give the J-Man Curly map a skull emoji out of five. There's also a ton of retro video game maps ported over to Gorilla Tag, like Rainbow Road from Mario Kart. Wow, this is, it's Rainbow Road. And of course, I got to ride down with these things. Oh, there's so much color. Let's go, turn the corner. I see the end, okay, full throttle. Let's go! Woo! Oh, jeez. Oh no, I lost my rockets. No, no, <laughs> no! Rainbow Road gets four to five stars, but so far I haven't found anything worth five stars yet. So this map is allegedly a giant figure painter badge. You got the sticks around here, a singular admin badge. Oh, it's bouncy. I see Doug up there. <laughs> Next up is a giant Minecraft theme parkour challenge. Holy crap. I literally am about to break my neck looking up that high. I decided to advance up the tall cylinder like structure. Wow, all the classic Minecraft things you know and love. Oh, the door. Can I go through the door? <gasps> we can. What secrets are in here? What's over here? <gasps> Let's go. We found the stash. I wonder, do the slime balls work? Let's see. Oh, oh, they do, they do. That's sick. Oh, that's so cool. This is like the most high quality map so far. I'm gonna give this one also a five out of five. The quality is insane. I know this is a Minecraft map, but 
Wow. And since I was fascinated by large things, I went to a 999 meter tall block. But it doesn't look that tall. I can see the top up there. So I think I'm going to give it a shot and go. You know, it can't be that bad. I mean, it's just a really long way up. For some reason, my hand kept getting stuck inside of the pillar. Why is my hand getting stuck so often? Okay, we're good. We're back. Uh, never mind. We suck again. But we are not flinching. And I continue to try and make it up despite constantly falling. Please don't stick it to the wall. No, 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 no. We're so close. I see the tippy top. Come on, what's up here? What's what's the treasure? You knew it would be a waste of time. Why did you do it? What do you mean there's no reward? Oh, oh. Wow, I'm floating in nothingness right now. But look over here, there's a giant Minecraft city here. So we're gonna go check it out. There's a nice little Minecraft establishment, you know? I don't dabble in the blocks as often as I used to, but I would definitely reside in a place like this. I definitely would share my home space with other Minecraft pedestrians here. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> oh man. Oh, this looks like an extra so cozy little place. Oh, look at that door. Let's go. Let's see. Can I get, can I get in? No, open. Let's see, maybe this door is open. Come on guys, you let me in to your humble abode. No, oh, there's a train. I'll be taking my commute there. I couldn't really find anything else to do, but I think this map would be really good for hide and seek. So three out of five stars. Now I would do the only up, but I have traumatic experiences from that. <laughs> no, oh my God. No, no, don't pull me up, don't pull me up. <laughs> well, we're good, we're good, we're good. <sighs> the next map is EM Construct. And man, I have so many Gary's Mod memories here. Holy, this is like so weird seeing this in VR. Oh, uh, <laughs> where did the water go? Dude, I used to like camp this map and play G Mod back in the day. I used to like throw NPCs off the top of that building up there. I climbed all the way up to the top of the building to reminisce. I would just throw NPCs off of here. Wow, this is nostalgic. This is so nostalgic. But then I got an idea. I wonder, can I jump out of bounds? I think I can make this jump. Oh, you can. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I didn't expect that. I give GM Construct a three out of five. And for the final map, it was the hardest challenge yet. So I don't know how I got up here. I'm being honest with you. Maybe there's civilization over here. Let's go check it out. Oh my God. How long is this desert? <gasps> Is it just me or am I a little famished right now? I'm walking for so long. Oh, there's gonna be something over here. There's gonna be like a lake of water or something. Come on. But then I noticed this. Oh, wait, a crater. What's over here? Drinkable water? Drinkable water? Ah! Oh. I'm gonna give that a two out of 10. So to rank the maps, I think the best one was the giant Minecraft parkour map and the worst one being the J-Man Curly one. Subscribe. Uh.